Well guys, the end is here, and right now starts 10 times entries, so now it's your best shot ever to win our GT350. Our GT350 giveaway plus $15,000 in cash ends in just a few days. If you win, this is what you might look like. Let me get a set of keys to this bad boy. With that being said, guys, go to itsjustsix.com right now. Grab 10 times entries in to win before your chance is gone forever. And now, let's get into today's bonus upload. Start that thing. Oh no, the humidity. Look at this, look at the lens. Oh my god. Jesus. Get oh. the blowtorch. Welcome to Louisiana. Oh my goodness, dude. All right, go get that thing a rev. So Nick's had this car now for a good while. You can go ahead and pull it in. Nick's had this car now for a good while and he's been wanting to do an exhaust on it for a long time, but obviously Porsche exhausts are really expensive, so. We had the bright idea of today, since we're not really doing much of the shop today. We're gonna pull his car in here on the lift, and I'm gonna straight pipe it. <laughs> All right, we got the lift arms underneath the car. We can go ahead and start lifting this thing up. definitely see there's an exhaust leak going on right there definitely an exhaust leak going on right there what I think I'm gonna do is just cut like right here and see how it sounds and then that's typically what people do is they, they cut right past yeah and then we can do 90s coming out and do some oh, tips no. or keep that same tip and do a Y or something I'll just put some dumps on that you don't even realize it yet but I'm just saying this from experience you're gonna get done with this and you are gonna love that car like a whole different vehicle <laughs> like every time that on any car, there's any kind of exhaust mod, even if it's some shit like this, it seriously makes such a big difference. Where's your eye protection, yeah, brother? <laughs> Before I lose an eye. Oh, hell yeah. I'm Rob on a normal day. <laughs> Is that doing anything? Apparently, the fire and rescue blade can't get through the fucking stock Porsche exhaust. Is that the one you used on the Tesla? Yeah, but it's not dull. Brand new blade. I like how Doug leaves the shop for one day. He's gonna come back and be like, what the f is going on? What? What is your exhaust made out of? I was about to say, I've never had this happen on anything that I've ever cut with anything. <laughs> I feel like one of these blades has gotta be able to squeeze the rest out. Is that it? Well, cool. yeah. All right. This one cut through way easier. Hell yeah. Dude, I don't understand. Yeah, it's dulled down already. Look at that right there. Well, yeah, but like, why did it get that dull from one cut? Let's give this one a go. Dr. Gavin, how is she? Portia said, Oh yeah, but are you guys stock exhaust the strongest thing on the planet? Well, I didn't think so. Apparently not. You guys. Ah. <laughs> Seeing the smoke just pour out in the wheel crap. well. Look at this damn blade, bro. Yeah, this is pretty ridiculous actually. All right, we'll be right back. That truck is so awesome, dude. I had a broken keyboard, I bought a broken keyboard. Hello. Hello. We got plenty of blades, including one very particular and very expensive blade that has um, a carbide tip, whatever the f that means. But this blade was like $13, $14 for one. Wow. But it is <laughs> apparently claimed to be able to cut through anything. <laughs> so, That's your last resort. Yeah, if, if nothing else works, then it is going to come off today. Strength by Porsche. Porsche. Porsche means 
do. Go around and find out, motherfucker. You want to <laughs> cut me? You want to cut me? That's a thick blade. Let's go ahead and get one bolt pulled off of the side and another one and then the whole thing's going to slide back and off. Alright, you ready? Maybe. Grab one side and now I'll slide it off back. Don't. There you go. Ah, yes. Fire chef. Fire chef. Your exhaust leak just got a little bigger. <laughs> so we're going to go online, probably on Summit, something like that. And we're going to get some nice materials on order. That way we can build like a pretty cool little dual exhaust out of here. It's what? convenient. Oh yeah, Summit. Eh. But anyway, <laughs> what? Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing pretty much started up and see what it sounds like. And then after that, probably about a week from now, we'll fab up a little cat back for him. All right, start that shit. Let's do it! Yeah! Fire it up, Terry. <laughs> Damn! Oh. <laughs> I've never heard of straight pipe force before. This is pretty cool. by flat six but they're definitely the most like it's a unique exhaust sound for sure i haven't heard anything that sounds like that before hearing what that sounds like with a cut right there once we get the pipes out and extended and it's got real resonance to it it's probably gonna sound really really good oh. <laughs> the car like it's new again. We'll pick back up whenever we get some supplies in, materials in, to start fabbing up a cat bag. All right guys, we just got back from a local shop and we actually found a few materials. So we thought we were gonna have to order stuff offline, but we actually went and looked and found some right here in town. So go ahead and abandon the camera and put a GoPro back on. That way people are not- You yeah, like GoPros? That Give the people, people what they want. Who needs I a missed, cinema camera when you have a GoPro? I missed the old Gavin. <laughs> he changed after the different camera was recording the same shit. GoPro Gavin, back baby. Oh. oh, it's doing that thing again. It does it when it gets hot. Porsche said, I need to cool myself. Yeah, these are gonna have to get cut down first, but it'll be like something like this to a 90, slip on like that. So actually, this is like a rough example of like the shape that we're going for. Almost, actually, we could have, fuck. I could have got him to, if I would have known, yeah. That one, <laughs> actually that one could work. Okay, so we could make something like that. Let's see if we can duplicate that. So there we go. Obviously the proportions are a little off until I get everything fit and cut and you know set right. But for now, you guys can at least get a rough idea of the shape that we're going for down here. And now we'll cut this right to 11 inches. Did you see how uh, Mr. Dale marked this? Uh-uh. He had, uh, I guess he had all that shit on his finger, so he measured it and just went, and had a black mark. <laughs> it worked. Oh, 
All right, so first pipe will come off from back here. Then we'll have this piece, something like so. Where do you want it at? Uh, about like that, I figure, huh? Yeah. So. Make sure you um, point out that this man is welding in Yeezy. <laughs> what? That's Nick's favorite detail this morning. <laughs> I know, I actually was wondering, I was like, why are you working? Well, because I didn't think, since we didn't have anything to do today, I was like, I'm probably just going to work on business stuff, so I'll just wear whatever comfy clothes. And then I got here, and we were talking, and they were talking about straight pipe in the car. I was like, let's put that bitch on the lift. <laughs> Got our piece cut down. Now, this should slide up like so. And this should stick right out the back yonder. So now, do you want it in more, or is that good? I cut it a little bit long first, so that way I didn't cut it too short <laughs> to begin with. All right guys, so a little bit rusty with my welding skills, but honestly it didn't come out too bad. As you guys can see, this tip needs to be up a little bit. And for some reason, I think it's whenever they were having the pipe bend or the pipe cutter, it crimped down the end of the pipe. But we're gonna be cutting off this last like three inches anyways and replacing these with tips once we get some, probably put a piece of flat bar or something in here to hold them perfectly level about like that. And we'll have our new tips and everything. This pipe, it just, it throws you off because looking at it from behind, this one is a little bit smaller right now. Not too bad. I have not had a welding machine in my hands welding anything in probably seriously two years, so. Probably like 80 bucks, maybe max. So, $80 exhaust system, not bad. You need to get you a friend like Gavin if you don't have one. One that will, when you wake up in the morning, be like, you wanna straight pipe your car today? <laughs> yes, I do. It is time. Get that thing to start, brother. First off, dude, you're the That sounds pretty good. Dude, that <laughs> sounds, sounds pretty good. Sick. It right. sounds pretty yeah, pretty good. Well, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm glad you can still weld. Me too. Whenever we had just cut the mufflers off, it was all the sound was stuck underneath the car. So once we extended the pipes and gave it a little bit more. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, it actually yes. sounds really good. Like, like surprisingly good. <laughs> Sound the alarm! <laughs> oh. <laughs> we hadn't put any tips on it yet, so don't laugh, but... <laughs> Doesn't that sound good as that hell, though? so good! But it had a pretty bad drone, but... Yeah. Um, Actually, you're right. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Man, it actually sounds really good. Holy shit. Like Nick was saying, before we had extended the pipes and everything out, the drone inside the car was pretty pretty obnoxious, but it was because of the fact that the pipes were not, you know, the sound was not carrying out of the car. 
but honestly, roll the windows up now and see what it sounds like with them up. Damn, that's fire. That's really not bad. That's, exa that's that exactly is about dope. how I'd want it, really. It finally sounds how it feels. Yeah. It literally sounds like a high-end exhaust. You would think that I'm joking, but it, in person, it actually sounds really good. Now, what you're not even expecting is that once the pipes actually settle, it'll actually, believe it or not, get louder. It gets serious? it gets a little bit louder and a little bit like a deeper tone whenever the pipes actually break oh, in. Oh, I can get used to that. Well guys, there you go. $50 Porsche Cayman exhaust and it sounds really, really good actually. I, I think myself and everybody else here are pretty shocked at how well that it sounds for just a few pipes that we picked up down the road at the store. Hell yeah, nice. Yeah, dude. Fucking victory. Oh. Actually, when is the video today. of the exhaust going up? Uh, today. You haven't even exported it yet, huh? No, I'm literally finishing it, like, right oh now. Oh my god, do you think that it is possible Ooh. that you could wait, like, another hour? Oh, it smells like chemicals I should not be inhaling. Is burnt and carbon fiber? Yes. You ricer, that is so cool. <laughs> ricer, <laughs> shut up, dude. Happy life birthday. What is that? Ah. ah. Dude, is that shoes? <laughs> What the fuck? What? Oh, bit. Oh, bit. Oh. Get your bitch ass up. Get your bitch ass up. Oh, you, bro. I've never gotten to see these. Yeah, we went to five stores, I think, in Dallas looking for this specific shoe, and literally not a single one of them had it, so I had to order it off oh, of Goat so and clean. wait for it to come in. Oh, it's mint. Like, literally mint color. Okay, so up to this point, you guys have seen that we did do the exhaust on Nick's car, but the last thing that we were needing were some tips because, like, it just looks real weird and funky back there. And so these tips uh, I ordered off of eBay, to be honest with you. They're super affordable. <laughs> these are, like, the cheapest tips that I've ever bought, to be honest. They're, like, $30 each, but surprising quality. So we're gonna see how they hold up, and if they don't do well, we'll get them some replacement ones eventually. But they're just some clamp-on ones, so we're gonna clamp these on and see what they look like. Nick, I'm going to use your spoiler as a sunglass holder. Thank you. So, in theory, we're gonna have one on there like so, and one right beside it like so. So it should look something like that, but I'm gonna have to cut these pipes in there be able to get it to work. So I'm gonna grab our jack, get it up in the air, cut those pipes back a little bit, and hopefully get these tips fit in place real nice. So underneath here, if we examine our pipes, we're gonna want our tips to be about flush probably with the rear, which means that I'm probably gonna have to cut these back to about right where they straighten out right there. We'll give it actually another little few inches. So we'll probably cut them back about to, about to there, honestly. All right, cool deal. I'm gonna grab a Sharpie, mark this real quick, get these cut off, and then we'll slip our tips back on. I usually be doing my exhaust in a fucking off-white shirt. <laughs> Try not to have to cut further than that, so that way I don't have to get close to the bottom of the car on the inside. Yeah. Nice. nice. Let's try out a tip. Oh, word. Oh, yes, sir. Very fucking nice. Oh, yes, sir. That actually is honestly really lit. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Yes. Okay, cool. Like I said, Ocean School teaches us. That's all right, it's heavily discounted anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Do you approve? Oh yeah. We've got a total of like, how much money? Like $140 into this? Yeah, it's max. It's about to look really good and sound really great. Alternatives to this from like pro shops, like the cheapest one you can find. Probably be like two thousand dollars. Really? For a cat back just like maybe eighteen hundred bucks for a cat back with tips. Wow. Uh-huh. Wonder how it's gonna sound now. Yeah, it's gonna have a little bit different resonance to it. I'm excited to hear it. Yeah, I remember you saying it's almost like the bell of the trumpet. Yep. Alright, Nick, go ahead, bro. Alright, go ahead, dig it all. It actually almost tamed it in a way. It did. That's what that's interesting. Yeah. But in a good way. Yeah. Oh, word? That's different. What the fuck? Sure. Yeah. I'm actually really impressed. For real? Hey, switch spots with me. Yeah. 
neighbors are gonna hate me more. <laughs> Bye. Damn, that looks great. Dude, that literally looks fucking amazing. Wow. Yeah, it looks so much better. Like, oh my god, yes. Oh yeah, the silver, when I got down the other day, stranded, not dope. looking at the tips, but the piping, yeah, it was pretty sick. That is pretty dope. Hell yeah. Happy late birthday, dog. Thanks, man. Well, we finished the damn exhaust just in time. It's funny because we were joking around, but like, literally today was whenever this video, this bonus upload was supposed to go up. And we didn't think we were going to get these tips in in time. They just arrived in the mail. We're literally going to go drop this footage and upload the video right now. So, with that being said, drop a like on this video. If you haven't already, don't forget 10 times entries only live for another what 48 hours, I think. Something like that. Something like that. Go to it's just six.com right now. Go grab your entries on 1G350. I'll see you guys next video. Why was it salty? <laughs> 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 <laughs>